Thanks so much for staying with us on your Monday. It's time for another live guest this morning. Well, you can now at home experience the nostalgia of the 80s in Winston-Salem. One man <laughs> has created an 80s inspired Airbnb here. It also includes arcade games from that area and he hosts a game show that is called Arcade Animals. <laughs> a lot going on. Yeah, here to tell us more about it is Scott Lefwich. He is the owner of Wieners and Losers. <laughs> this is that 80s themed arcade museum and Airbnb in Winston-Salem. Good morning, Scott. Good to see you. You've also created a game show called Arcade Animals. That is true. <laughs> um, so in addition to everything else that's happening here, um, we've launched an 80s arcade game show called Arcade Animals. Um, it's a uh, really you can win your own 80s vintage arcade game. That's the grand prize. And um, uh, it's a lot of fun. It's a Q and A, and then you play games in a competition against one another, and um, it's a blast. We're we're showing some photos of the Airbnb, and we're gonna, we're going to talk much more about that game show in a minute. But to people who don't know who you are, I've been there a number of times, and it's a really cool concept. It's an air it's an '80s themed Airbnb, but you've got this huge like vintage arcade in the basement. <laughs> How did this all come about? Uh, well, um, I'm an 80s kid and I was seduced by the arcades in the 1980s and I really just wanted a man cave for myself <laughs> and um, uh, I don't know, it just ballooned into uh, quite the ridiculous collection. It's a 27 mm -hmm. year collection um, and uh, it just kind of happened organically. Um, we decided to let people come in invitation only. Um, one Saturday a month and use those proceeds to grow the arcade and it's just become a really big big hit. So you personally have collected all of these uh, all of these games Scott tell me about that and kind of where did you where do you get them from? <laughs> <laughs> well um, I started in 1996 so from 1996 to 2006 nobody wanted this stuff it was junk and so I just uh, bought a lot of stuff during those years, put them in storage, taught myself to work on them. And um, it just, uh, you know, it's sort of like a potato chip. You can't have just one. <laughs> um, it just, man, it, it, but, but it's a lot of fun and it makes a lot of people happy. Yeah. Um, you know, we, we do um, private parties and now we've launched the 80s themed Airbnb as of about a year and a half ago. And that's been a lot of fun too. Scott, why are you so passionate about sharing these 80s games with people and even people who are just visiting the area? What uh, inspired you to do that? And, and especially the Airbnb, what has been the reaction of that? Um, well, you know, the 80s was a magical time. And uh, it just, I had a great childhood. Um, you know, we had the music, the movies, the games, um, Saturday morning cartoons and the list goes on and on and on. But, um, you know, I'm just a huge eighties enthusiast. And, um, as for the Airbnb, um, you know, it just kind of seemed like the next logical step. And so we launched that in November of 21, uh, it went viral in 2022. And, uh, there was a TikTok video that got over 7 million views. And when that happened, really? uh, people started coming over the world. We've had people from Europe, Australia, South America, Canada, um, and it's just been wide open. Wow. Such a unique collection of things there too. So yeah. very cool. So Scott, talk about the show that you've just created. It's mm -hmm. called Arcade Animals. You <laughs> touched on it at the top of the interview too. How does it work? Um, well, uh, so there's a Q and a piece to it and, um, well, if the contestant answers the question correctly, um, they get to pick what game to play oh. and so vice versa. So that happens three times and then we tally the score from those three game competitions and whoever has the most points gets to play another game, uh, to try to attain their own video arcade game from the 80s, which would be the grand prize. And so uh, 
you know, that's something we filmed three pilot episodes and they're on YouTube and okay. you can find that link at our website, arcadeanimals.com. And you can watch those episodes for free. And we've launched a Kickstarter in hopes of funding more episodes. Um, so all the links to that are there at the website, arcadeanimals.com. And um, we just hope to grow this 80s experience. And um, I think it's going to be a lot of fun. The game show is going to be a lot of fun. Awesome. <laughs> Sounds fun. Cool. Well, Scott, thanks so much for your time this morning. And congrats on your.